Hey, it's Thursday, and this is your ET Final Score Sports Update for April 18th. Two weeks ago, Licking Heights beat Harvest Prep 65-0. Yeah, 65-0. A blowout should perhaps have been expected. The Harvest Prep Warriors, mostly underclassmen, have lost every game this season by double digits. The Licking Heights Hornets are so overpowered they're being moved to a higher division after this year. But 65 to nothing? The Sporting News, which had the first detailed rundown of the game, said the Hornets had 48 hits, drew 13 walks, and had 11 hits batsmen in just three innings of play. They scored 16 in the first, 18 in the second, and 31 in the third. The coach claimed he did all he could to stop the carnage by, run, by not running on pass balls or taking extra bases. Well, it could have been so much worse. Ohio uh, does have a mercy rule that kicks in at 10 run lead, but only after five innings. Thankfully, Harvest Prep, Harvest Prep was spared by the most merciful rule of all, the passage of time. After three innings, the game was called on account of darkness. Last night, Steph Curry had a chance to break the record for most threes in a season. Let's roll the video. With these two three-point shots, Curry tied then broke Ray Allen's record for most three-pointers in a season. Curry finished the season with 272 shots from beyond the arc. Ray Allen's old total was 269. His ankles are finally healthy and Steph Curry has proven not only to be as good a pure shooter as there is in the game, but maybe one of the best ever. The NHL's Boston Bruins played their first home hockey game since Monday's explosions at the Boston Marathon. Rene Rancourt came on to sing the Star Spangled Banner before the game and belted out a few lines before the entire crowd at TD Garden took over. Get a look at it for yourself. It's an excellent video. See you guys tomorrow.